In order to use videos in Classroom Jeopardy, you will first need to convert your video files to AVI format using the file converter FFmpeg. You can find the most current conversion tools for both Windows and Mac at ClassroomJeopardy.com. Download the FFmpeg converter to your computer and place it in the Clue Studio folder you created. Placing the Clue Studio application and the converter application in the same folder will enable the Convert Video button to work properly. This part is very important. Before you can start converting files, you need to initialize your settings first. First, click the Settings button. The Settings window will open. Now click the Browse button next to the FFmpeg path line. Navigate to the FFmpeg application in your Clue Studio folder. Select the FFmpeg application and click Open. This will link the video conversion utility to the FFmpeg application. Now click the Browse button next to the Output Directory line. This is where your converted videos will be placed. Navigate to the folder where you will keep your converted videos and click Open. When you are ready to add converted videos to your game, you will navigate to this folder from the Browse button in the Clue Response window. Note that the Video Quality setting is also located in the Settings window. When you begin to convert video, you may return here to adjust this setting. Now you're ready to convert your file. 1. Click the Convert Video button on the toolbar. The Video Conversion Utility window will open. 2. Click the Add button and navigate to the video file you wish to convert. Click Open and the file will appear in the Source Files window. Add as many different videos as you need. The Video Conversion Utility can convert an entire batch at one time. 3. Click the Settings button to set the video quality. High quality will generate the clearest video but the largest file. Low quality will generate video with less detail but smaller file size. The video quality settings will apply to the entire batch being converted. 4. Click the Encode button to begin conversion. If you have not set the FFmpeg path, a dialog box will pop up and direct you to the settings window. When completed, the files will appear in the converted files window.